This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this excursion. It is a 2005 Ford excursion. It's an Eddie Bauer. It's a 6 0 turbo diesel and it's a four wheel drive. It has 189,484 actual miles. It was a uh, trade in, dealer trade in, and uh, purchased up in Phoenix. And it's a really nice rig. Uh, I got to check it out in uh, detail before I purchase it. And uh, I'm happier now than the day I bought it, so that's always a good sign. Um, anyway, we bring him here, we do an inspection. Not much to inspect here. Um, 6.0 diesel, 4x4 Eddie Bauer, third seat. Um, extremely clean excursion, runs and drives great. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What do we do to it? We repaired the seam on the driver's seat cushion. Not much to say, it's a nice rig. That's what my guy's right. Um, Anyway, I'm going to walk around this thing. Uh, I'll point at stuff that you can look at closer in the photo gallery using the magnifying glass icon. You can zoom in with that magnifying glass icon. It's like having your face up against the vehicle. Really, all it all it has cosmetically that I've noticed that's any kind of an issue at all is some scuffs and light dings on bumpers, but that's kind of common. Uh, I see a couple little door dings on the driver's side. But pretty much like this stuff, you know. I see it. it. Looks like a ding right here on the hood, like right there. If I get at the right angle, it's like right. I can't find it now. It's right there, somewhere in there. Uh, obviously, if it's somewhere in there and I can't actually see it, I can just feel it. Then I'll tell you something about it. Got some fairly decent uh, BFG all-terrains. I would say they're probably 60 or 70% tread. The purpose of these videos and our ads, uh, unlike everyone else, uh, is to uh, make sure that we sell it to the right person, not that we sell it. Selling them is easy. Uh, making sure that the right person buys it, that's the trick. And the only way you can do that is by telling people everything that's right and everything that's wrong. Okay? So, that's what we do in our videos. There's something that's like rub stuff. I don't know what that is. Right there. It's kind of insignificant, but it didn't detail off, so I don't know what, what that would be right here. Obviously, you'd have to be picking it apart, treating it like a show car to care. But like I said, part of my, obviously a little gold touch-up paint in there would make that a lot better. Ba -ba -ba. Open this guy up. These are fiberglass, these back doors. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? You can't put a magnet plate on the back of them because they're fiberglass. Oh, got to close this first. Actually, got to close this side first. This side, then that side, then down. In a second, I will uh, fire this guy up. We'll look under the hood. We'll take the oil cap off. We'll look for a blow by. And let's see, where did I see a door ding? I see a door ding right here. And I see one right there. Um, <coughs> and I'll just show you the Carfax right now, too. All right, that's how many miles we got. We have 189,489 miles. hear me uh let's see carfax accident reported i'll show you that in a second it says it it says a 10 19 of 06 long time ago it hit a parked car um 
when we go in, and they they say after that that information uh you factor that in carfax says the vehicle is worth about 15 one that would be a hell of a buy um there's the vin we did this carfax today which is 513 of 19 so it's hot off the press that was when the accident happened or damage happened boom okay all right and you know that by right here 10 19 of 06 it says accident reported vehicle functional it hit a parked motor vehicle i would suspect based on the size of this thing it probably backed into something and then someone was dumb enough to call the cops which ends up in a car, car ugh, which ends up as an accident report which ends up it then ends up on carfax boom 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 there you go all right I'm gonna open the hood here. All right, there's your Ford stamp on this fender right here. I mean, this is original, it hasn't been replaced. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp on the hood, so it's an original hood. Ford stamp on the fender. For example, the core support, cat stick where they belong. All this stuff matters because if there wasn't uh, crash damage, they don't replace them with Ford parts. They're many times more expensive. So nothing's been replaced up here, okay? And I would say the front bumper looks original also. There's your uh, no blow by at all, which is excellent. Obviously, this thing was taken care of. It kind of speaks for itself, its looks. Locks. Down, tilt up, down, up, and down, whole seat up, and down. Alright. And looks like we do have a manual in here. This little door is missing, which is very common. Either you put too much heavy stuff in it or you yank on it, one or the other. There's your window down and up. That's the passenger rear door. I like to show people all around every door and door frame and stuff so that they have an idea of what it looks like. Obviously, these seats look like they're in great shape. A little bit of a stain there. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. There's your uh, DVD player going. I turned the, the sound down so you can hear me. Now, let's see. That's how this works. If you make the whole thing, you can make the whole thing fold forward, and then these things level out and everything, and that's how that works. Anyway, that's that. Got your back seats. Da, da, da. <coughs> With one hand, it's kind of hard to demo that properly. All right, there's the window up and down. this let's see and these things go like that boom, boom. there you go down up there
There's your uh, door bin right there. Tilt wheel, heated seat on and off, seat forward, seat back, seat up, seat down, tilt up and down, rear up and down. We put the seat back for me a little bit. There we go. All right. Here, get a little warm already. All righty, then so we've got a little trailer brake set up here. Let's see, we got adjustable pedals. Uh, that's the brake pedal up and down. All right, let's see what else we got. That's the there's your DVD playing, right? Let's see what else we got. AM, FM. Or like there's that six disc player fan up temperature up and down let's try there's your steering controls for temperature and fan let's see let's try there's volume So that works fine. We got the rear air. I can hear that coming on back there. Let's see. I do know the passenger side, the only thing that doesn't work, it says in my inspection I just looked at, is this guy right here. Actually, yeah, it does. They said it doesn't work. Oh, it's, it's a drug. No, they both work. Maybe it was user error. I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. We have a shipper here. All right, let me put it in neutral. Let me put it into four low. That's drive. And reverse. That's in four low. Okay. Neutral. Now we're going to go to. See, we're in four low right here. We're gonna go to four high. Now we're in four high. Drive. Reverse. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go two wheel drive. And we're gonna go for ride. All right. We need the air on in the back. Turn that off. This is nice. This, is, this helps you make a left turn right here when you have a truck in the way. I love when they park like that. Oh, God. Well, this will be good video of me getting my nose taken off here. Oh, good. I made it. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's talk about how this works. If you come to Tucson to drive this home, you will pay the following. Your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you decide to pay by wire and ship, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Um, there'll be no dock fee, no taxes, nothing. If you do pay by wire and ship, once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name uh, or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you. Uh, we will scan that in your online file so you'll be able to see the signed off title immediately and we'll mail it to you, even scan in the envelope that we mail it in, okay? Um, more of the transparency factor. Uh, you'll be able to follow along the whole way. Uh, obviously, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you. The title will probably, almost every time, will show up before the uh, vehicle does. But once the vehicle shows up, you'll take the title you already have for the mail, and you will uh, go to motor vehicles and get plates for yourself. It's very simple. Uh, deposit, once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit, and once uh, we have that $500 deposit, we will put your name and a banner over the vehicle at wheelkinetics.com and you and everyone else will know it's yours, okay? Gotta be careful here. This is a uh, school zone and the cops are everywhere. 
because there are a lot of kids in this neighborhood. There's high school, junior high, all kinds of stuff. So you gotta be really careful. Um, usually I do these in the morning or late in the afternoon. This is not a good time to be doing this. Um, let's see, so anyway, make sure you get your deposit in. We probably get two or three diesel excursions a year, and usually one of those two is not good enough to get online. Um, this one is very much good enough to get online. No blow by, it looks great, really doesn't need anything. Apparently I fixed the only thing that my guys told me was wrong, which was one of those quarter glass uh, windows that didn't open and close. Maybe it won't work again. I think they said it was the passenger one that wasn't working. It just did for us. You saw it in video, so maybe that's the only time it'll work. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> the last part of the video, um, I say this the last two or three minutes of every video. I encourage you to verify that by looking at other videos we have. I've done literally thousands of them. Um, we'll probably have 20 or 30 online right now that you'll be able to see. Um, basically what I say is we have no salesman, which is great. Um, we don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a latte machine and a snack machine and muffins and a place to sit down in a massage chair while you hang out. Uh, we also don't jack up the prices uh, to make up for future repairs on your vehicle, okay? What I'm getting at is, because we're saving you a bunch of money, selling it the way we're selling it, with all the information you're getting, on the first day that you own it, you're the owner. We are not repairing anything, and we are not writing checks for anything either, okay? So please make sure you understand that. If that doesn't work for you, no hard feelings. Uh, we uh, don't have anything for you. We've got a bunch of vehicles, but we sell them all the same way, okay? Um, this thing runs great, by the way. Really nice shift, very quiet. Um, no vibrations, nothing. This is a nice rig. Whoever owned this thing before took really good care of it. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Um, anyway, just uh, make sure you go through the photo gallery if you're interested in something, uh, you know, cosmetically. Use that little deal to zoom in and uh, uh, that little magnifying glass icon. And it's literally like having your face up against the truck, you know, in this case, the excursion. Um, and uh, that's how that rolls. Well, I wish that guy would.